Sustainable construction is becoming increasingly important for the public and private building market. Building materials play a crucial role in this. As a producer, can you show what the impact of your materials have on the environment? If you can, you're one step ahead of the rest. How do you do that? With an Environmental Product Declaration, or EPD in short. This is an information sheet with the product's full environmental impact during its entire lifetime. EPDs are based on life cycle assessments. They map the entire ecological footprint of your materials, the amount of raw materials you need, the water and power consumption, emission of air polluting substances, amount of waste, possible effects on human health, the impact of transport, and so on. Location and ease of construction are also important, as you can see here. Building an igloo on the North Pole? If so, ice blocks are a sustainable building material. Because you only need one building material and the construction itself barely requires energy. Ice is also a local, natural and renewable product. But if you build the same igloo in the desert, these ice blocks have a huge impact on the environment. This is because you have to transport them over a long distance. And the ice needs active cooling. In other words, a lot of energy to stop it from melting. An EPD takes into account all these factors. And that's the big difference with conventional eco-labels. How do you get an EPD for your building material? If you're a manufacturer, you first need to make a life cycle assessment of your product. You take into account the environmental impact of all energy and material flows during the entire life cycle of your product. An independent expert verifies these results. Audit OK? You can then register the product in an EPD program. These EPD programs are public databases which collect the environmental declarations of different building materials. Architects use these databases when choosing their building materials. An EPD therefore specifies your product in tomorrow's sustainable buildings.